Hey, kids! It's Up, Up, and Away with Mock-Ups, the solar-powered cereal that gives you the energy to travel from Mercury to Uranus. Just pour it in a bowl, and you will have all the vitamins, minerals, and cosmic radiation you need to start your day. Make solar-powered mock-ups part of your complete breakfast. I don't know about you, but that made me hungry. So today I'm going to show you how to make a digital mock-up. These are great, great tools for portfolios or if you have just digital files and don't have photography to work with, you can actually create a, a very convincing digital mock-up to use for a presentation. So let's get started. This is a this is a box I did or a mock-up I did um, for a typeface of mine called Millstone that had this like Stone Age feeling. And I create these mock-ups basically to because the products don't exist but to show my clients and 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 uh, customers what what the, what i envision the typeface being used for um you, you can do this yourself as well um and it's very very easy so let's get started first thing we need to do is track down our um, illustrator file and i have one here i'll open that up there we go and um, we can ignore all these um I've got all the side panels of the boxes. Um, some of these uh, these mock-ups have like two different angles in them, or you could do you know two different you know two different boxes um, to show all the different sides. So what we need to do is we actually need to bring this file into Photoshop. So all you need to do to do that that's a lot of to dos um, is just drag it on the Photoshop icon on the on the dock. Um, I'm going to pick a size, usually it pops up as a 72 DPI resolution. I'm going to pick a size of 200. Um, actually, let's make it 300. So it's like print resolution. I'm going to click that. It's pretty, actually, let's keep it 200. That looks like that's going to be too big. There we go. Just do 200. The file size was getting huge when I picked 300. And there I have all my panels here. The next thing I need to do, whoops, I got fill it in with yellow. An ugly yellow at that. Um, next thing I need to do is I'm going to copy. Well, actually, let's open up the serial box mockup. So I have a couple different mockups in here. I've got one that has a um, very, very simple one, and then I have one that's on a countertop. We'll start with the simple one um, just so you get the hang of it, and then we'll quickly do the, the one on the countertop as well. So let's double click and open this one. Now, all you need to do, and it is so simple, is select. Let's do. Let's, uh, Zoom in on the page a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you just select the front image, copy it, go to the serial box mockup. Now they'll have these smart object panels that with a mask attached to them. Double click on the smart object. It opens up a flat panel. Paste your artwork in there. You can see it's a little small. We'll just stretch it out to fill up the space. There we go. There we go. It's a little, we're gonna distort it slightly. Um, just so it fits nicely in there. There we go. And then just save it. Once you save it, you can close that file that you opened and it'll throw it on the front of the box. And then you do the exact same thing for the side of the box. Or if it has more than one side, um, more than you know two sides, you can see three sides or something or some sort of weird you know multi-dimensional box from a multiverse that we don't know about. Um, you can do that too, I guess. Um, let's open that. Paste the side in there. Stretch this guy out. It's, yeah, it's not going to be, the proportions aren't going to be right. But usually things on the side, that doesn't matter so much. You can really kind of cheat the artwork. Um, get it to fit. And you'll see what I mean when we look at the side. Let's get that logo on there, though. Cool. Okay. Click off of it. Save it. Go, and there, it's on the side. That's all you really need to do to create this type of artwork. You know, there's these other files in here to do adjustments and things. You really don't need to touch those. So now we have a really, really cool um, mock-up that we could use for a portfolio or to present for a presentation. Um, but let's go into the more complex one and see how simple it is to do that as well. Close this. We don't need to save it. Um, we've got. The, we'll keep this panel open because we're going to use that. And let's go to our mock-up panel with the tabletop in it. Now this has a mock-up I created for the video before. We are going to go into that front page 
and uh, or the front of the box, which is uh, let's see, front side. Um, and I'm going to turn that. It, this is actually a software box, um, believe it or not. And we'll go back to our main artwork, copy the front page again, select it, and then copy it. Go back to the serial box mock-up. Is that the right one? Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, paste it in here. It fits pretty well. Um, i got to distort it just slightly again. Hold the shift key so it, you can kind of stretch things horizontally and vertically unproportionally. Um, we're going to save that. Always remember to oh, first get apply that. Always remember to save them. Sometimes the link breaks and you got to redo it, but it's pretty simple. Um, there we have Paleo Puffs. All hail Paleo Puffs. Um, the next thing we're going to do the left side. Um, the left side's got the old space image in there from the video. We'll go back to the cereal box that we had brought in from Illustrator. We're going to copy that side. Then we're going to go back over to the mock-up. Double click on the left side. And bamo, it's in there. And close that up. And there it is. Two sides, one to go. The top side. Oh, look at that rocket. Don't you? Hey, there's the old blurry guys. Um, and then <laughs> we, it's been a long day. Um, and then we're going to take the top. Well, let's, let's throw this guy on there. Yeah, we, he looks like he's having, riding a mammoth. Let's throw him on the top. All right, double click on the top side. Paste this bad boy in there. Stretch him out. Mr. Paleo Puffs himself. Let's see, hold the shift key, distort these up and down. Pull that in a little bit, get some red there. Um, that looks good, save it, close it up. And there we go, we got all the sides in there. Um, now you could save this as a JPEG or save a copy as a JPEG, export as a PNG. Um, basically they're done, that's it. It's that simple. Um, T-shirts, anything you know other there's so many different types of mock-ups out jars t-shirts labels posters you name it um usually you can find them free uh if you have an envato uh subscription there's tons of great mock-ups on there um so yeah it, it's just a, it's such a great and simple tool to use um and it's so convincing i've had people always say like is that real did you design that it's like yes i did in the fantasy world of mock-up town anyway um, that's it for now. Talk to you later.